Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample number 13. In this one, I'm going to try using some balsa core in an open molded one shot layup and see how well I can get it to turn out. It's pretty simple. It's just general purpose polyester resin and 1708 biaxial with a chop strand mat and a one ounce mat right up against the balsa so there's a nice resin rich layer. So I'm going to start out with my well waxed table. This is the 1708 going down. I'm putting it down mat side on the table in hopes that that will give it something of a resin rich layer. If I put down the stitched biaxial um, that there's not enough resin in there to uh, give it a decent surface. And I'll go ahead and put the mat facing the stitch side, um, the stitch biaxial side here. Uh, and this mat should hold a lot of resin right up against the balsa. And my main concern here is getting the balsa bedded down. I'm not using gel coat, which will be nice so we can look in and see the air that's inside um, when I go bed the balsa down. It's probably the, the biggest problem and I'm going to try doing this without a core bonding putty so I'm going to just bed the balsa down in resin and typically if you're doing this with um, more curvature or really ideally in this situation you would mix up a bonding putty or catalyze a premixed bonding putty which is filled and fills in the core curves on outside curves but I'm going to just use a lot of resin here and uh, try and place it down as neatly as possible and squeeze out any air that's going to be back there. This is a, an excellent example of when vacuum bagging is a great idea for core. You can see I pulled up a little bit of the uh, chop strand mat there. Go back over and smooth it out. Pulling it back up again was probably a bad idea. I'm not sure why I did that. It would probably make some difference to put the core down sort of unrolled style at pushing it down as you go, trying to get air out the front rather than just plopping it all down at once by rolling the top. And probably a better method here would be to use weights and to let that gel before I go but I'm I'm just doing this in one shot to see what happens this is not something I have a lot of experience with I've talked to a few people um, and I'm sure it will work it's just a matter of how much air there is so uh, I'm just gonna do my best to wet it out and fill the balsa curves I probably should have used a little more resin I ran out of resin there you can see so, uh, and I was too lazy to go back and make some more. Everything's wet out pretty nicely. The only place there should be more resin is probably against the core. But when we cut it when it's cured, it'll be neat to see how much is sucked into the balsa. So I let it gel and cure, and you can see the, uh, the outside of the 1708 there. That's a thinner layer of mat than in some of the previous panels and uh, definitely shows more of the stitch material and demolded it and just as I feared there were some big bubbles of air between the bottom skin and the core I went over and circled them all in Sharpie marker and this is a map of all of the bubbles I could see the opposite surface looked fine there weren't any bubbles because I could have rolled them out and I've been trying to test break samples in the latest videos and uh, this one I couldn't break at least not that width it's not super stiff but it is really heavy It's one pound nine and an eighth ounces and 712 grams for that one square foot section so this stuff is super rugged thick skin the bubbles were an issue I think weights would have done a lot to help filled resin would have helped as well Maybe I'll learn some more about core bonding putty and give it another try. 
Thanks for checking out the Explore Composites Materials Library. See you next time.